Hello there, internet. Magua here, and I got a nut legends of Runeterra for you guys today. Hopefully, you enjoyed yesterday's War Mother's Ramp video. I've been having a lot of fun with the deck myself, and today we're gonna bring back a forgotten meta king, a deck that is still really strong, especially in this current meta game environment. Once Bandle City has been ultimately toned down, and thus the presence of Mini Morph is significantly lower than it was before, and a deck that allowed me to just Get a crazy winning streak on ranked and just really really strong and a really cool archetype that i've always been very fond of even when it was very cool and popular uh, it's it's like honestly like one of my favorite meta decks of all times and that is none other than lantern doggo aka thresh nasus as we got a nice excuse to showcase it as we have the new world breaker skin see how i say world breaker now and not earth shaker <laughs> <laughs> that was a Earthshaker skits like three videos in a row or some shit. And nobody corrected me. Well, they did, but it was too late. So, yeah, we have Thresh Nasus here and uh, a pretty... Uh an updated version of the deck. Uh, I'm running a couple of copies of the Wings and the Wave. The rest of the deck, though, is pretty standard uh, as to what it's always been. But I brought back a full set of Blighted Caretaker. I think... I mean, back in the day when Merciless Hunter was a 3-mana uh, 4-3, people started substituting her uh, Blighted Caretaker for her because she got nerfed to a 1-1. One, one. But the reality is this card never stopped being amazing for the deck, honestly. I, I really do believe people... Um, were incorrect at replacing this card when it got nerfed for one power because the impact of the sub the saplings, the tempo this this card generates, and the synergy that it can provide with slays, not only slaying your own unit but also slaying opposing units with the saplings, is just too good to pass on. And also the fact that this card can just single handedly advance Thresh's level up by at at the very least three stages. The saplings kill stuff then even further. So. It's just uh, really, really good, and I definitely think it's warranted as a three of alongside Merciless Hunter. Even though these two cards got nerfed, they're still good, and they still put in the massive work because the Fearsome from Merciless Hunter combines really well with stuff like Blighted Caretakers. It can remove away Fearsome blockers and push in for some nice damage. Speaking of Fearsome, I had to talk to you about my boy, Bakai Reaper. Bacalao, as I like to call him. This this one drop is the absolute MVP of today's video. You're going to see why. If you play this card correctly and you give it the respect it deserves as a potential alternate win condition, it will surprise you. The amount of damage this can push through and it can even become a valuable atrocity target. I shit you not. Like this card never stopped being amazing. Like, this is legit one of the craziest one-drops in the game, and it feels like people just forgot about it, which is really funny, because, like, now this card is just putting in so much work, and I'm really, really excited to showcase it in today's video as well. So the rest of the deck is, uh, you know, pretty standard. Like, uh, I haven't really changed. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. I really like this... You know, 11 spell distribution, you know, a couple of atrocities, a one-off of Red Negation, two Vile Feasts and two Black Spears with triple Glimpse Beyond that goes well alongside Spirit Leash so that we don't run out of gas. And I'm very fond of a one-off of Rite of Calling because picking up our champions is pretty essential as uh, we do and to or we do aim to win with Nasus the majority of the time, or Vakai Reaper, you know? Our six drop or our one drop, which I don't know, I think it's pretty funny. We have uh, Fading Icon and Curse Keeper as uh, fodder. Obviously the nerf to her Curse Keeper really hurt it, but we can still use Escape the Abomination defensively really well. And with a full set of Blighted Caretaker, we can make good use of that four power and push in some damage. And that is essentially the deck list right there. I'm gonna let the gameplay speak for itself. Like I said, uh, even though there there is, this, this deck I think is really good against Ari Kennen, for example, but also, even though they have, uh, you know, recalls and stuff for Nasus, but Blighted Caretaker and Merciless Hunter alongside uh, Bakai Reaper can apply a lot of pressure, and you can out-temple them really, really effectively. Though, I'd say Demacian, like, Targon decks with, um, the more hushes they play, essentially, the worse. And also, Concerted Strike can be a very good answer for Thresh that can stop the level up. So, I would, I would argue that that's the worst matchup, but it's still very, very winnable. In fact, I have a very positive win rate against it myself. Uh, I don't know. I, I just think this deck is, is really strong, and it's really cool that nobody's playing it now because you get to feel edgy and stuff. And that's, you know, that's where I'm going to leave it at. Like I said, I, I got some really good gameplay for you guys today. I think you're going to really enjoy this video, even though it's not, uh, you know, a new homebrew. And uh, it's an old established deck. It's still such a blast to play and one of my personal favorites of all time. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy the matches. Leave a like if you do. Stay tuned for daily legends. <laughs> I was like, daily. Stay tuned for daily Legends of Runeterra content. 
Hope you enjoy the games. I'll see you tomorrow. Man, I'm just so excited to play Fresh Nasus. I've always loved this archetype. At one point, it was a little bit too good for its own good. I could have worded that differently without having to resort to good twice. But yeah, I, I always liked it. Even when it was super popular and everywhere. It's a very cool, cool deck. And now nobody's playing it, so imagine, imagine my joy. I'm gonna go ahead and keep these two. Um, I could drop the Spirit Leech for now. I'm gonna keep everything else. I like the Black Spear. Thresh is very nice. I'm gonna hold on to the Wings in the Wave. I want to keep the Merciless Hunter because she can uh, allow me to deal with Ziggs. I was okay with offering the trade there because it's not like I have that many. I, I can always set up the Wings in the Wave for fodder if I need to. There's no Serath here. Okay. I can take some damage here, I think. Maybe it's a bit much what I'm taking, but... I'd rather work for the... I, I, I want to work for the Thresh level up here. Get a little bit of card draw flowing. I took a lot of damage though, it's risky. I like that vile feast a lot. You know, second place. Really want to work for this thresh level up. I, I, did, I didn't I didn't sequence this right. Indiana, you gotta see this new board. A little busy now, Sammy. Later. Sing me the song of the rock dudes. Gonna find a gift for an acting, right, Arda? We leveled up Thresh, so that way we play another Thresh, we can pull him out. Yeah, why 
one's a fighter. His ordering is really bad. Because if he, if he, if he, like, he, his ordering has been bad this entire game. Like, he, he uh, Etro, you need to learn, like, sequencing. <laughs> yeah, no offense. Try to see if I can bait him out of this this explosive. I need to play NASA so that I enable the siphoning strike. Force a mini morph out of him if he does have it. Try to prevent as much damage as I can. I'm gonna go for another glimpse to get rid of my units with vulnerable. There's an atrocity, beautiful. Beautiful.
Gotcha. <laughs> All things. Let's see how we fare against Iceborne Spiders. It's gonna be interesting for sure. Let's drop the Atrocity. Uh, do we need the Merciless Hunter? I don't think so either. I'm gonna do a full mulligan, honestly. Like, I'm not convinced by anything here. I, I, I need fodder. Like, fodder is important. Leading off with Bakai Reaper is really neat. Being able to ignore this thing, this simp, as I attack, feels nice. I miss playing this unit. This unit is so good. Makai Reaper is like, it never stopped being good. These old eyes still see far and clear. I'm gonna Vile Feast here. I can always proceed to ignore this, to be honest. But... Getting a stronger hit is more important. The waters give you life, child. Let's get some prey in there. Look at this Bakai Reaper setup. It's nuts! For two mana? Okay. Some draw would be nice. I know he has an Iceborne Legacy. It took so long to think that. <laughs> There's no way to hide. No threat of burnation. If he has a vengeance, you know we're 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 gonna we're gonna pressure him. Nothing escapes my life. Look out for Reavers! 
Vakai Reaper is carrying. I want to enable a black spear. He's nervous. I can feel it. I'm pretty sure he has a black spear. I'm doing my best to go for the kill here. Come close. Got him. I don't. I Got him. The guru follows. Bakai Reaper. Absolute MVP. Oh. Beautiful. God, that game was gorgeous. Oh, I love this one drop. Oh my god, I misplayed this deck. We need a Kai Reaper quote. Come on now. Oh. It's the best friends forever. All right. I'm going to go ahead and drop these two Blighted Cure Take. I mean, I could, I could keep one Blighted Cure Taker. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep one. That's a good curve. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a little bit patient here, because if he does have a rock hopper, then I can play a fading icon to counter it. Man, I just, I love playing this archetype. Like, I, I know I'm probably gonna sound like a broken record this video, but. I just really, really like this, this archetype. Look at that, look at that Bakai, Bacalao! Bacalao OP! I wanna hold on to some of my, my Slay procs though, because I, I, I do have Thresh and I wanna work for that level up.
Yikes. Alright. Box. Get it? Get in the box? And that's why we wait. Almost broke a sweat there. <laughs> Maybe I got a little bit ahead of myself with my, my sequencing. Watch me. The order is given. Yeah, I'm, I'm not crazy, so I'm actually going to... Let's get that doggo. How big is my doggo? That's a big doggo. Never stops turning. Got it. <laughs> that was spooky. Did we get that thresh line? Brian, give thresh a victory line. What the fuck? Man, I just face like all sorts of different shit constantly. I just can this meta like I know you guys are excited for new cards, but I I just I'm a little bit worried for the expansion because I feel like it's gonna ruin this shit, you know? Like, they're gonna bring something, it's gonna be busted and broken and, and, and everything's gonna go to shit. Let's just enjoy what we have for now, you know? Like, like not take it for granted. Nasus is pretty neat, but a bit early for it. Right of Negation could have some good uses, but I'm gonna drop it as well. I'm just gonna keep the fading icon to be honest. That's better. I love this one drop. But Kai Reaper has been putting in the massive work this video. Holy shit. I'm gonna go for for an attack. I wanna apply pressure. Before he gets to play his um, his ignition, which makes it so that this can only trade into this. So ordinary. Well, he could have a static shock. For those of you who want to start playing this deck, always attack with Bakai Reaper last. Because of the slay ability. Yeah, he's not comfortable about this attack. It's it's really strong. It's a it's a very it's a very high tempo swing. Yeah, there it is. We're gonna do this before they can counterplay because they're a pretty reactive deck. So going for this slow speed spell, triggering the slay uh, before they can actually effectively counter it is the way to go. And now we have card draw. Ah, 
That's a huge hit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go even higher. Because why not? Bakai! Bakai! Like, what more do you want from a one drop, dude? <laughs> you just. You can't ask for more! Like, this thing is insane! I'm gonna try to bait a spell from him. I wanted to play another one. Get in the box. Get in the fucking box. Yeah, even if we lose Thresh, this, this is fine. It's worth it. No, no thermogenic beam. Bacalao. Back at it again. <laughs> Got him. We just went with our one drops, dude. <laughs> Scouts. Scouts. Let's drop the spirit leeches. Let's get the black spear and the bakai. We got some good shit here. Forgetting is death to an immortal. No place to win. Like, I love everything about this card. Like, the art is awesome as well. Like, the voice lines, just... I think this entire video is be me just going crazy about Bakai Reaper. <laughs> Nice high roll. Nice high roll you got there, friend. Come on, show me a sharp sight. What about that? Oh, you know it's coming. Good thing that they can't increase the butt. Like, that would be so busted, like, being able to... But sometimes it does. It was, can somebody explain that to me? It's, it's kind of weird. So fast. It's really annoying how they got that high roll, though. Like, that's... That's pretty nuts. The good guys. But not that game. Yeah, this is really obnoxious. Yeah, like that 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 high roll like actually did everything for them. Not being able to not being able to black spear here is everything. Yeah, this is this is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know why he keeps that in the back. I don't know what he's on, but that is really frustrating. That is really frustrating how he got like that that crazy fucking roll. Oh, fresh soil. Ugh. Really obnoxious. Say your farewells. Some 
dumb variants. Good job. Well done. NASA is th this player is just like frustrating me, so just 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 go in there and just finish this fool off, please. Just do that for me. Thank you. Thank you, NASA. Thank you. Love you. We grow wiser with each victory. Yeah, and cockier. Alright, it comes down to how many hushes they have. Hush is a very, very scary counter to our Nasus here. Uh, we got one hell of a curve, though. One hell of a curve, indeed. I'm gonna drop the Merciless Hunter. Like this one, two, three is really autopilot because it's that good. <laughs> it doesn't matter what we're facing. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. Let the blood boil. Shivana is pretty big, but our escaped abomination can take it on for now. Let's go for this. Oh, you top deck a... Okay, never mind. I was like, you top deck a, a single combat now? <laughs> like, fucking no. All right. Not quite there, but close. And we get rid of Shivana, which is what matters. Ah, Bakai, when everything else fails, I got you. I got you. I love you. 
Because he went for the concern strike earlier, like he had to top take that so in combat because he didn't have it. Doesn't have single combat. Like unless he top decks it, he doesn't have it. Good targeting. Mm, not so good targeting. I mean, yeah, that's pretty good actually. I'm going wide. I cannot go. This too shall Because if he has judgment, if he has judgment. Dude, that is, how many games is that in a row? Bro, bro, I'm on the craziest of streaks right now. <laughs> We're really close to Masters, actually. And I was at Diamond 4 before recording these two videos. This is hilarious. That's, um, that's five games, right? It's only been five games? I felt like it was more. Okay, that was five matches. Yeah, that was five matches. And then seven from the War Mother's Ramp. I got. I managed to get more games with War Mother's Ramp, which is funny because it's a ramp deck. It should be slower. But I'm like on a 12-game win streak. <laughs> That's pretty neat. <laughs> and uh, 54 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to have to leave it here. If I want the, the video to stay under one hour. Yep. This deck is still amazing. Uh, this archetype is still really strong. And it's just really, really neat. And also just... Big shout out to Bakai Reaper, the MVP of today's video. The absolute MVP. I'm just gonna go with a NASA thumbnail because we, we got some NASA wins and because, you know, the, the World Breaker skin. But uh, get yourself Bakai Reaper. Highly recommend. Man, this is such a. F I, I love playing Thresh Nasus. And my girlfriend does too. Like, she loves this archetype as well. She's gonna be really happy about this. She's gonna love editing this video. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop talking. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the games. Like if you did. I actually have like a, an actual outro in my in my video. That's like really weird. But yeah, love ya. Have a whole day. I'll see you tomorrow.